lesson two of engineering design drawing by hand. In this lesson we're going to look at measuring and drawing objects using the underlying geometry of those objects to make the task of drawing them easier. So the first thing you're going to do is take your object of study, turn it around, observe it from all sides, get a good sense of what makes it work and what uh, geometric shapes it is circumscribed within or uh, otherwise organized along. When we're dealing with objects of design, we are almost always dealing with a surprising constellation of regular geometries. And that is, of course, because these objects of design are the evidence of the designer. And that designer has had certain rules of thumb or other habits of mind that have helped them to structure their composition. And we can use those on the reverse side to draw the, this, the object that has been made. So take your pencil, hold it at a consistent distance from your eye, sight along your pencil to the side of the object you're going to draw. Compare the various sides and think about uh, the proportional relationships, such as a double square or a triple square, uh, that will help you to mark down accurately the dimensions of the object that you are studying. Use your thumb along the barrel of the pencil. That's the easiest way to sort of take a quick measurement by eye. And then translate that measurement onto your page. It doesn't have to be exact. Again, remember, we have a bounding box. We have some wiggle room in the drawing. And so just start drawing, but use these proportional relationships to keep your drawing accurate. The key here is about four units long, where one unit is the handle of the key, two units is the stem, and the last unit is the uh, key mechanism. Now, once I have a set of proportional relationships, that will structure my drawing. I can quickly start to mark out the shapes that guide this particular object. We've got two interlocking circles at the handle. We have a center line running down the haft of the key along which everything is aligned. And we have, of course, the detailed nitpicky little uh, mechanism of the key itself. When you're drawing these lines, make them quick, repetitive, find the subject you're drawing. Don't get stuck on drawing the first exact line. We'll come to that later when we do our visible and profile lines, when we insist upon the subject that we are drawing as having a certain definite shape and outline. I can work back in with an eraser and pull out some of those, those more hesitant construction lines as, my work, as I work my way through the object I am drawing. The more complex the object gets, of course, the more um, diligent we have to be about keeping the page clean and uh, erasing those construction lines as we go. As a rule of thumb, erase them as you need the space that they occupy or as they blur the uh, outline of the object that you're trying to depict with accuracy. Now, this technique of measuring and sighting can be used for the angles of the object that we are studying, as well as the proportional relationships of its parts. So we can look at holding, we can look along the pencil we are holding, and we can see better along our pencil and transfer better those angles. Here we have the uh, um, the latch cover that the key slides into. And if you hold the pencil along those, those angles that are really quite difficult to approximate, you'll be able to take that, med that angle that you're sighting along and set it right down on your page and follow that angle with the line that you draw. Now this will work even when the object is not right there on your page next to you. 
You can sight along your pencil either right in front of your eye or at arm's length, depending on the distance of the object you are studying. In any case, try to work fluidly and quickly from vision to hand and back to vision. Keep your head up and your eyes on the subject of your drawing, and you will tend to find a, a good likeness in what you're doing. Uh, on the subject of angles and viewpoints, uh, notice that my sketch of the latch cover is foreshortened compared to what you see in the camera. That's because I'm sitting in front of the drafting board looking obliquely at this particular subject. And that, of course, is one of the failings of uh, the natural view of things and why we need to develop our ability to think orthographically about the subjects of our design. Thanks for watching.